Hey, what's up everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna show you my mower getting grinded. I found someone locally to do real grinding service for me. They were able to grind my reel and also grind my bed knife and also give me a relief grind. So I'm gonna switch it over to that video and then let's go check it out. Okay, right off the bat, this is where I find out my bed knife sucks. Um, <laughs> he basically took it off and looked at it and said, man, you don't have very much meat left on this bed knife. So I'm going to try to make an attempt to go ahead and grind and get you a relief, but um, your edge is basically going to be pretty flat and it's, it'll be slightly angled up like how all bed knives are, but it's not going to have that um, relief edge as like uh, a regular bed knife would. So here he is just cleaning it up, um, just getting it ready to put it on the machine so that he can try to put a relief on it. And then uh, in just a few minutes after he sets this all up, uh, he'll be turning the bed knife 90 degrees toward the camera and then that's where the stone is going to make contact with the top side of the bed knife and he'll set a specific angle there and then he'll run the stone back and forth several times. We're finding out that the uh, right side over there is more worn down than the left side, which is kind of funny because that side cuts paper, and then the right side or the left side here doesn't cut paper. It's pretty interesting. I guess the thickness of the right versus left is uh, very, very off. Okay, on the left side of the machine, there's a angle gauge, and this is called the sharpening angle. And what the mechanic had told me was that uh, new bed knives, they're pretty much set to 15. And even if you try to do 13 on mine, there would be nothing left to grind on it. So I didn't ask him what angle uh, or what degree he set it at, but I'm imagining that he did it at the minimal amount. And then in just a minute, he's going to flip the bed knife uh, 90 degrees back, and then he's going to start grinding the face. And that's where he's going to be doing the relief angle.
So here pretty much we were just talking about the reels and bed knives and I was asking him do the reels when they come stock from the factory um, do they need to be sharpened and he said no not necessarily they usually come the the cylinder of the reel itself is uh, pretty even all the way across so uh, rarely do they ever have to do sharpening only if they come across a reel that has maybe too much paint on the ends uh, that's when they would you know, basically do a spin grind on it but the bed knives obviously if you buy them brand new you do have to get those sharpened and he said Toro is actually one of the worst for some weird reason. Toro's uh, stock bed knives are coming in a U shape. So they're always having to take off the ends quite a bit uh, in order to get things even. So he found that kind of uh, intriguing and saying that, yeah, it's, it's surprising that Toro uh, quality on their bed knives is not so great. So I asked him, what about John Deere? He said, yeah, John Deere is pretty good. If you order a bed knife from r, &R products, uh, their bed knives actually are straighter, a factory Toro bed knife. So he said previous experience, um, he had better success with the R&R &R bed knives. So that's basically uh, what I'm probably gearing toward uh, as my replacement. Oh yeah. So now I'm gonna put a relief on. Time for the relief grind. Edges are pretty sharp right now on their reel. Here he talks about the relief angle and he said it's pretty much just set on how the machine is set up and how the mower is sitting in the machine itself. Uh, the angle basically just follows how the stone is moving across the blades. And he says you don't want to put too much relief on it because if the angle is too low, uh, that stone could catch the next blade and you'd basically be grinding your sharp edge away. So that's one of the things to be careful about. Very interesting. Alright guys, I just got back from getting my mower sharpened and I learned a whole bunch of things from the mechanic. Essentially my bed knife is warped so it's actually like kind of U-shaped or upside down U-shaped. So that's why the ends weren't cutting but the middle is cutting perfectly fine. Uh, he told me it's kind of a notorious thing that Toro does when you buy bed knives. They don't come quite flat so they have to grind all that out. Uh, he told me that I had a low cut bed knife and I didn't have much meat left so there wasn't really much for him to grind although he did grind it um, we're still not cutting on the right side of the mower unfortunately so I've been trying to make adjustments here and there 
Um, it is cutting a folded paper, but it's not cutting the single sheet tour paper as I was expecting it to. So he recommended I just get a new bed knife and then bring it back to him and then he'll do the replacement for me. And um, he basically told me, he was asking me like, what, what is my height of cut? And I told him, like, oh, I'm cutting like roughly around half inch. It's like, well, then you don't really need a low cut blade. It's basically set up to putting green heights, right? We're cutting at one eighth or below. So, um, and you're cutting frequently, right? You're cutting every day. So you're taking just a little bit of grass off uh, each and every day that you're cutting it. In my case, you know, I'm cutting above half an inch or right at half an inch and anywhere from half an inch to three quarters. So a uh, fairway bed knife would make sense or a high cut bed knife. So what I've learned today is that Toro has five bed knives. I kind of already knew this, but I didn't know what they were all were. So you have the micro bed knife, um, the tournament bed knife, the low cut bed knife, the high cut bed knife, and then the fairway bed knife. And he recommended that like, if you get the high cut bed knife and the fairway bed knife, uh, your bed knife will last a lot longer. So at the very, if, if I were to, I need, probably need to draw this out, but basically the bed knife, they all have like a little lip like this and the, 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 the low bed knife that I have is worn out to where when he was grinding it's basically flat like that. Still angled like this, but uh, it doesn't have this lip and then he's not able to put a relief on it on, on the very tip of it, right? So that's basically where the sharpening happens is, is he's cutting basically on the top of the bed knife. So he's cutting on like where my fingertips are. Then he's also cutting the face, which is where my fingernails would be at. And that's basically that sharp tip, that sharp end that meets contact with the reel in order to cut grass. Um, in my case, I'm, I'm flat like this. He was trying to put a little bit of relief on it, but it's only, only so much that he could put on it because there's not much meat left on it. So unfortunately, yeah, uh, my bed knife needs to be replaced, um, something I learned. Uh, he did put a relief grind on my reel and he did also did a spin grind, which is cool. Um, that's pretty much set up to cut really well right now. It's amazing. Um, you can see in the videos that I show that uh, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty nice and sharp uh, reel now. Uh, it's just that the bed knife is not the cooperating with it. So I'll have to figure out what I want to do in the next few days. Um, he also recommend just getting a bed knife from R&R Products. So you're paying probably about 10 to $15 a bit cheaper for it. Um, they do come in better conditions, at least from his experience. He says they come in better conditions than getting it from Toro. So I guess that's my next step. I'm gonna try to get a uh, high cut bed knife and just see how it goes. I was kind of reluctant to go high cut. The reason why I actually purchased this mower was because uh, it came with a low cut bed knife. When I first thought about buying the, the Greensmaster, I was wanting to cut at putting greens height. So I was thinking like one eighth, quarter inch, things like that. But it turns out like I'm, I'm really not even cutting at that height right now. You know, I'm cutting at most, you know, half inch. I ha even the, this season, I haven't even cut half inch. I was cutting at 0.6, right? And I was scalping at 0.4 and 0.3. But you know, I guess if I if I do want if I do want this bed knife to last for a long time, then I should probably consider getting a high cut bed knife, at least for my situation. So that's probably the route I'll take. I'll get a high cut bed knife here, place an order, and then I've got to take the bed bed bar off and then give it to him and then let him, let him grind it and then bring it back home and put the bed, bed bar on myself and all that. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not gonna cut today, uh, I'm gonna wait till Tuesday. I laid PGR down on Friday. Lawn doesn't look like it has grown at much at all, so there's no point of me cutting. Plus, it's a little bit too late in the day for me to cut anyway, so I'm just gonna take, my, take the day off today and, and not really do anything, but uh, I was excited to kind of use the mower I was like really excited to see how sharp it was. Um, you can feel it with your fingers. It's really, really sharp, but um, still, uh, we're not cutting uh, all the way across. We, I mean, we are cutting on one end, but we're not cutting on the other end. So kind of, I'm kind of still in the same situation as I was before I got the grind, but at least it was a learning experience as well. He, he taught me a lot of things. I, I learned a lot about the sharpening and relief grind and those things today. And I may make a video, a separate video for that to talk about. Um, he did, he did explain to me um, reels that have spin grind on it or the, you know, basically the flat, the flat edge versus a relief grind. He explained that to me, um, the differences and the reason, you know, what, why one would be better than the other. Um, 
He did show me how the machine operates, which is cool. We talked about how the stones are a big factor as well. Or the old machine that they were using actually was a bigger stone and much thicker. And he said that it actually operated a lot faster uh, than the current machine. But um, the advantages to the new machine that he has now is that it's not requiring more manual labor to do the setup where you have to have like big wrenches and whatever else to like tighten to make adjustments for it like now you're just using knobs and like hydraulic settings and things like that so you know there were pro and cons to those things but it was overall a pretty cool experience okay the new bed knife just came in today and let's take a look at it and see looks a lot thicker than the low cut bed knife let me sh zoom in here you guys can see the edge right there. So like I was explaining earlier, uh, the low cut bed knife doesn't have this lip uh, like the new one does here. So this is, this is where all the grinding takes place. Basically it takes place right here on this lip. So he grinds the top, top part of the blade and then he grinds the face of the blade. So he'll grind here and then he grinds here. What's funny is uh, it says uh, this bed knife has been precision ground with 5 degree relief on top and front cutting edge. Any inconsistency and in straightness of the bed knife will be removed when mounted to the bed bar. So, I'll have to ask him what that means because I have no idea. But yeah, uh, I'm going to take it back to him this Sunday and then have him ground it for me or install it. What he explained to me was, so these bed knives are already grinded at 5 degrees, right? It's basically ready to go. Um, it's perfectly flat. Uh, they press it on a machine. They don't put it on a bar, bed bar, like how it should be when it's uh, on a mower. So the problem is when you mount the bed knife onto the bed bar, the bed bar itself is not perfectly flat. It's not perfectly even. So the bed knife is going to follow the bed bar. So that is the reason why it's not going to be perfectly even all the way across. Therefore, you must put it on a machine to grind it um, to make sure that everything is perfectly even across. So that part made sense to me and now I understand why um, it's a standard practice that they do grind bed knives um, when they put it on the bed bar. Well, I'm very pleased with the new grind. It's cutting paper all the way across, and I'm laying some really nice stripes in my lawn now. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like it. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Anyways, take care, and happy mowing, and I'll see you in the next video.